All right, y'all, Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another quick post fight discussion video. Okay, Poliana Viana versus Jin Yu Fry. Man, didn't really see it coming in this fashion. I thought if Viana was to win this fight, it might be on the ground by submission, but she gets it done with her hands. She shows that, look, she's been improving with the hands, and she came with some thunderous strikes on Jin Yu Fry in the opening minute of the round and got it done in 47 seconds. Man. Man, Jin Yu Fry was going for it in this fight. Y'all know I'm a fan of Jin Yu Fry, but um, I've, I've noticed, you know, definitely over the past few years, uh, she's definitely started to kind of, um, I'll say deteriorate a little bit. You know, she's, she's up in age, you know, she's just 37 years old. She's been in the game for a while. You know, the wear and tear wears, definitely wears on you, especially at this at this level in the UFC. And, um, I knew Viana definitely had a chance going into this fight. I just thought that with the IQ and experience of Jinyu Fry, she was going to be able to switch it up, strike on the feet a little bit, maybe even surprise Viana with some takedowns and just win a comfortable decision. But right away when she tried to dictate the pace and push forward with her striking, Viana already showed that level. You know, Viana showed that level that she could keep range and just find those openings. Well, the opening was there all day. I mean, Jinyu Fry had her chin wide open. She had her chin wide open for big shots. And Poliana Viana said, okay, you're going to give it to me? She's going to take it. And, I mean, she landed a six-piece that put Jin Yu Fry out on her back. I mean, this was a vicious knockout, y'all. I mean, looking back at the first round, Jin Yu Fry, she wanted to control the fight with her hands. She was coming forward with some good leg kicks. Uh, but at the same time, she was leaving her chin wide open. Poliana, she was just stepping back nicely in good form, you know, not running away. Just, just kept stepping back nicely, you know, staying in that form, but keeping that range and being ready to, you know, ready to counter when Jinyu Fry stepped in. Uh, like I said, Jinyu Fry, she got in a few good leg kicks. Uh, she was looking for those body shots, trying to really, you know, get the respect to Poliana. But Poliana, her straight punches were accurate. And as Jinyu Fry stepped in, she ate a hard knee to the body that looked to stun her. And after eating that knee, she didn't have fully a full time to recover. And as she stepped in again, she ate a double right hand six more shots and all in like slow motion if you look at this like when she ate the double right hand i thought she was still kind of awake where she would have you know just went off an of instinct put her hands up or maybe like dipped under and tried to avoid some shots but no like she was i guess just completely zoned out from the knee and the double right hand so she eats four more shots boom and she's out she's out just like that ref has to step in but it was it was a clear-cut knockout for Poliana Viana. So, hey, shout-out to Viana. She she got it done. She showed some nice improvements. That's another finish on her resume. I think, you know, um, what does she have, like, a 100% finish rating now? So she's won all her she's won all her uh, wins by by finish, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, man, moving forward from here, I think, you know, Jin Yu Fry at 37 and having to compete with these, you know, these straw weights with her being, you know, an atom weight, even though she – does have that muscle mass and she is big i think it might be time to retire you know it might be you know because the, the fighters are just going to get tougher from here on and if she doesn't have that defense or even the grappling and the strength to hang with some of these bigger straw weights that are just evolving with the game you know even the lower level ones like like the demopolis that she lost to very closely but I, I thought she won but you know even those fighters like that Corey mckenna i don't know if she'll be able to compete with those fighters you know so um it might be time to call it a day. I don't know if she might want to do one more, fight out her contract, but we'll see. Uh, as for Poliana Viana, you know, with this improvement with her hands, you know, I like to see her, you know, continue to test her game with some more unranked fighters. Um, off top, let me see whoever is free. I guess, you know, the, the Kay Hansons or, you know, uh, the winner of uh, Demopolis' next fight. I can't remember who she's fighting right now. Uh, you know, those are some more good fights for her. You know, maybe like one or two more unranked fights. You know, um, if she can get them in, you know, close succession, if she in close sequence, if she can get them like that, maybe then she could jump in and challenge a uh, top 15 fighter, right? But uh, yeah, man, um, this was probably like the biggest knockout out of the WMMA fights. Um, you know, like I said, three stoppages out of four, but this one here was probably like the highlight finish for WMMA last night for UFC Vegas 64 because you rarely see straw weights like this with hands that can just, you know, put somebody out like this, um, especially on this level. Uh, yeah, Viana's definitely showing that improvement. Uh, she's probably got that $50,000 finish bonus. You know, I know she was asking for that after the fight. She's putting herself back on the map too with other things. I see, you know, 
the minute she got this W, she said, I think she's going back to the OnlyFans thing. And if y'all go look a little bit deeper, I ain't going to talk about it here. She's starting to bring up Kobe Covington's name as well in some situations with them. So she, she's trying to really, really light that fire to get back somehow into the rankings and put her name on the map in WMMA. So um, that's something else we'll talk about maybe later this week or in the live stream. What do y'all think of Poliana Viana's win? What does Jenny Fry need to do from here? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.